Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the vlog. So, I'm actually just walking out of the gym and I figured why not take you guys around and show you my morning routine since I've been here in Cusco. Usually after the gym, I make my way over to the San Pedro Market and start my day off with a nice, freshly squeezed juice. So, this morning, that's exactly where we're going. We're about to walk into the San Pedro Market here in about a minute or so. And I'm gonna introduce you to one of the sweetest ladies I've met here in the city. She makes juice here. She's been making juice here for over 40 years. And it just so happened that I haven't been able to film it yet because I don't bring my camera with me to the gym. However, today is different. I have it with me, so let's go. Wow. So much going on today. That's actually what I need is some sunglasses, but as I mentioned in the last video, I need to invest in a good quality pair because I keep buying these cheap sunglasses and yeah, they don't last me longer than the day. So I think I'm gonna stay away from that for now. But here we are. This is the San Pedro market, which we're walking into right now. And let's hope that, let's hope that our juice lady is there today. We might actually buy a couple more things while we're in here right now. However, I gotta really st stop shopping and stop filling up my bag with nonsense. Ah, she's here. Here she goes. Hola. Hola, señora Marta, ¿cómo estás? Bien. Llegué para un juguito. Ah, ya. ¿Qué juguito vas a tomar? Me hace combinado, por favor. Okay, so I've actually been coming in here every morning and I've been buying this juice called the Combinado, which is, you know, just a little bit of everything. It's actually the cheapest juice on the menu. It's about three soles for three cups. So about a dollar for three cups of juice, guys. Banana. Banana. <laughs> so a little bit of apple and banana goes in there. ¿Cómo está tu día? Veteraga. Ayer sí estábamos tristes, no había Sí, ya sé. Piña. Piña. Y papaya. Y papaya. Wow, okay, so in this juice right now I'm getting apple, banana, papaya. Another fruit, I think she said pizza haya, which is dragon fruit. So this little strip here is actually very popping. Like you can look around, there's actually juice stands everywhere. However, I'm one of those people that like, I like to come back to the same spot over and over again. So I've been coming to see her pretty much on the daily now. Except I didn't show up here yesterday. Yeah, yesterday I didn't show up here. I had some work to get done. But um, yeah, what matters is that I'm here now. Look at all this fruit. Si, un poco, un poco. So I just said yes to some sugar. I need some energy. I just left the gym, had a pretty good workout. Um, but yeah, I'm exhausted. I need some juice in me. And then afterwards, I think we're gonna go over and get something to eat. Ayer dijeron que llegaron mis amigas. Si? Yo estuve bien ocupado. Haciendo videos, porque hago videos para YouTube. Ah, yeah. Look, look, check out the size of this cup, guys. You get three of these for about the price of a dollar. Wow, delicioso. Como siempre, gracias. Okay, gracias. So she just said, this is all for me right here. So, I got a couple refills. Wow, this juice is so good. Actually, it's pretty unreal that you get that much fresh fruit inside of these cups for about one US dollar. So yeah, the fruit stand's pretty popping today. A lot of people out here. So I think after we get done with this juice, We're gonna walk around this market a little bit and do some shopping for another alpaca sweatshirt. Time for that refill. That refill I was waiting for. 
Ooh. So yeah, like I mentioned, this is the second cup. There's one more sitting right here. Oh, she sells beer too. Para que es uh, en cerveza? Para jugo especial. Ah. La negra, la negra. Oh, okay. So I just asked her what the beer was for, and she said she actually mixes it with fruits as well to make a special kind of juice. This is la cusqueña negra. Ah, okay. Preparamos el especial con maca, polen, miel, algarrobina, leche, huevo. Oh wow. Okay. A lo mejor lo probo mañana. Okay, so I might give that one a go tomorrow. She said it she mixes the dark beer with a egg, papaya, banana, maca, manzana, uh, apple, pineapple. Yeah, maca. Oh, pollen de abeja. Miel honey. So muchas cosas. Okay, arogavina. Algarobina. ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué es algarobina? I have no clue what that means. Oh. Oh, okay. Es de algarrobo. De acá de piura. Es como está el desdeño. Okay. Okay. Ah. So that's very interesting, actually. She said it gives you a lot of energy, and that's the when I was just pointing you out with the Cusqueña with the Negra beer, the dark beer. Wow, it cleared up here pretty fast actually. Okay, so right now the juice lady is buying some potato chips, but I want to ask her how many customers she gets a day and whether they're tourists or locals that come here. Tengo una pregunta. Tengo una pregunta. Um, what, ¿Qué tipo de gente llega más a, a verte? ¿Los turistas o los peruanos? Eh, la mayoría más los cusqueños. Los cusqueños. Cusqueños peruanos de, de diferentes departamentos. Oh. Turistas, uh, muy poco. Muy poco. Sí, pero... Entonces necesitan llegar más turistas a ver Mata Luz. Hay bastante, ¿cómo le diría? Turistas que les encanta estos platos de verdura. Ah, ok. Con ginger, cúrcuma. Okay. Ah, okay. Otros, bueno, porque les traen los días, después les dejan libre y vienen a comer. Ah, okay. So, she was telling me actually that a large majority of her customers are actually Cusqueños, which you call the people from Cusco, and Peruvians, of course. She said she doesn't get that many tourists that come here. However, that every once in a while, a guide such as this one will drop off a group of tourists here at the juice stands, and then, yeah, she'll make a little bit of extra money. However, a large majority of her income comes from her locals. So definitely come by and see Marta Luz if you come to the San Pedro market. She's so nice. Just finished that juice here. Muchas gracias. Para ti, gracias. Gracias. Si, nos vemos mañana, de seguro. Gracias. Si, chao. All right, guys, so I just gave Senora Marta Luz about six soles. The drink was only three, so double the price. You know, it's not really anything crazy, but I try and give back where I can. So now, shall we go on the hunt for a alpaca sweater? I actually had a friend yesterday message me saying that they wanted an alpaca sweater, so I need to find one, but it needs to look almost similar to mine which is white with a pattern up top. Hopefully we can come across one of those. Actually, I know where to find one. Let's take a walk this way. So we're gonna walk back past all of these fruit stands, juice stands I should say, and into this little clothing section it looks like looks like this is where all the clothing is at i think this is where i actually bought my sweater the other day let's have a look huh these ones are looking really nice now let's see if we can find what we're looking for hola buenos dias como 
No tienen una de estas que está blanco abajo. Blanco. Sí. sí, sí Look at these sweaters, guys. How beautiful are these? All these different prints. Colors. Um, sí, como para mí. So she just asked me if I'd like the sweater for about my size. And I think I want it for about my size. Wow. What are these? Some sort of bags? Oh, this is a water bottle holder. <laughs> Convenient, I guess. If that's what you're in the hunt for. ¿Qué son estos? Llaveros. Keychains. Ah, keychains. Alpaca keychains. Look at these cute little cute little babies and then of course they have the the kiwis <laughs> ah si sí. wow this is bonita this is nice what do you guys think y cuanto para esta 30 soles 30 soles so what do you guys think nice hmm Okay, let's do a little bit more shopping here. Let's see if we can help this lady out a little bit more. ¿Y cuántos son esos monederos que tienes ahí? Cinco. Cinco. Los puedo ver, por favor. ¿Qué tienen de diseño? ¿Qué son estos? Perú. So I just asked her what the design is. Machu Picchu, Perú. There's Machu Picchu. Oh, this one says Cusco, Peru. I like the way that one looks, actually. Let's see. Let's see if we can't take this rubber band off and have a look through some more here. Ah. Oh, I like this one. It has an alpaca on it. Peru. It says Peru right there. I don't know if you guys can see. It says Peru. There is a Machu Picchu, an alpaca, and a little Peruvian baby. Quite interesting, actually. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and take one of these. Um, one of these. No tienes um, otros modelos? Quiero llevar este, pero no tienes otros diferentes? No. No. Okay. So I just asked if there's other types, but she said these ones are it. Estos tienen different. No tienes. O sea, son diferentes por decir. Ah no. Por día que es Machu Picchu. Oh, esta. Sí, esta es diferente. Okay. So this one is different. Okay. So you know what? I think I'm gonna take these two. Yeah. This sweater. What else should I get? How much? Cuanto? Este es 10 soles. 30, 40. 40. 40. 50 de soya, huh. como ser blanco de soya. That's the, that's the best price. Yeah, Best sí. price. Okay. So she's not going to negotiate with me at all. So we got two wallets, sweater right now. ¿Qué más tienes? Me puedes enseñar otras cosas que me, a lo mejor me van a gustar. Todo lo que me tengo para la botella. ¿Qué son estos? Lapiceros. Ah, oh, so these are like a pencil bag. They're for pencils and supplies and stuff like that. Huh. ¿A cuántos son estos? Cinco. Cinco. ¿Me puedes enseñar unas? No puedo. So, there's these little leather wallets that caught my attention right here. They're hiding in between all this mess, and I just asked her if she can please take them out so that she can show me a few. Wow, look how beautiful these wallets are. Seems like all of, almost everything has a Machu Picchu emblem on it. Estos también a cinco? Sí. Este es en cuero. Este son tejidas a mano, son telares. Ah, okay. So these here are made with leather. And these ones are handmade with some sort of wool fabric. Okay, so. Let's do one of these motions. Me das cinco por veinte. 
No, no. Esta no te doy. de, de esta, esto. Esta te doy 5 por 20. Hoy me das 3 y 2 por 20. No. Esto, Quiero esto. comprar mucho de ti, eso es solo que también. Amigo, esto pregunte más adelante. Uh -huh. Le van a decir 7 soles. Ok. Yo estoy All right, so I just tried to bargain a little bit and try and get five purses for 20 soles. It's about five US. However, she was not having it. She's telling me that these ones are more expensive down the road, which, you know, I would believe, but okay, let's do let's do one of these then. Okay. Entonces, me das una de esta y una de estas. So I'm taking two of the leather wallets and I think I'm going to do three of these bags. Of course, they're not going to be for me. Huh. Let me see which one catches my eye. Which one is my mama going to like? And my sisters. So these things are pretty cute though. Look. It has a little, um, some sort of pony on it. Inca warriors, a butterfly. ¿Qué son estos? Incas? Es una chola. Ah, una chola. ¿Qué, ¿Qué dice chola? Chola, una mujer. Ah, okay. So, chola actually means woman here in the Peru. Eso es en todo Perú, en Cusco. Cusco, pero a los peruanos casi no A los serranos al menos. Ah, okay. So. ¿Por qué? Porque tiene su pollera. Su pollera. Oh, sí. Y su. Como chal. No, no, ¿qué es? Como un, un bulto, algo que cargan en la espalda las señoras del campo. Sí, ok. Ok, so, they use the term chola here in the south, and it's basically a Peruvian woman that wears the beautiful traditional dress and the, um, I don't know exactly what this thing is called, I couldn't quite understand, but it's where they carry, like, their babies and their food and things like that. Really interesting, actually. Alright, guys, so, the lady just left me in charge of her stand. She has me here. It's my job to sell now. You guys want to buy a sweater? sweater? My <laughs> <laughs> she left me here in charge of selling. <laughs> nice. Oh, I'm not doing I'm not doing the best job at this so far. I think I'm just gonna stick to my day job, guys. But si, ya sé. Me voy parar aquí. No quieres un sweater, señor. No. All right. This isn't gonna work, guys. Okay, so what do I have right now? So, okay, I think I'm gonna go with this one. This one's really cute, actually. Let's open it up and see what it looks like inside. Yeah, this one's really cute, actually. So, take one of those. We'll take... Oh, I really like this one as well. Take that one. Okay, where are we at right now? Five, ten. Okay. And we will take... Let's make sure all these zippers work before we walk out of here. Okay, you know what? I think we'll do that one. Y me das... Um, esta, esta, esta. Alright guys, so right now this is what we're looking at. We got three purses, two leather wallets, and um, two of these wallets. Okay. Entonces, ¿cuánto sale esto ahorita? So I just asked her, how much is this going to come out to you right now? Sesenta y cinco. Yeah. Okay, sixty-five. Sixty-five soles. Let's see. Hold on, if we can lower one of these two. Let, I need to make sure that I actually need all this stuff. So I needed a sweater. I need two wallets. These are for my sisters and my mom. And then this is... Okay, sixty-five. So about twenty U.S. dollars. Um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna give back. You know what? Voy a dejar estos dos. Yeah. Y yo creo que. So I'm gonna leave those two, and I think I'm gonna take. Entonces me das cinco de veinte para estos. Sí. Okay. Me das esta. Zipper el zipper. Sí. I just asked her if the zipper works. Okay. Me das esa, por favor. Um, y dos monedas así. And two money wallets. Okay, te debo 20. 20, 50, 65. 65. ¿Quiere una bolsa? Sí, por favor. 
So she's gonna put this all in the bag for me. So I got a sweater, three handmade purses, and five wallets for 65 soles right now. Is this recording? Yeah, it is. So not a bad deal. Muchas gracias. Como cuánto gente llegan a tu tienda cada día? Bastante. Muchas. Muchas, pero a veces preguntan o compran. Otros sí. Uh, <laughs> no siempre nos compran. Okay. So that's pretty sad. I actually I just got done asking her how many people come to your store every day, and she said so many, but so many just walk away and don't buy anything. So if you come see her, buy something, buy some stuff from her store. 65. Yeah. Okay. ¿Me puedes ayudar? Sí, perdón. Ah, está bien. Sí, está, está bien. bien. So, I just spent all my money, guys. What am I going to do? There's no more money in the wallet. Te di todo mi dinero. <laughs> gracias. gracias Muchas gracias. gracias. Pasas buen día. Gracias. Oh, look at the Inca Cola shirts. ¿A cuánto? ¿Cuánto le Inca Cola? 15. 15. Ok. Pues a lo mejor nos vemos mañana. <laughs> Chao. Alright guys, so. I think we're done shopping. I think we spent all of the budget for today. So, I think it's time for us to get on out of this market and make our way back to the hostel because now I need my debit card. I need some more money. I can't do nothing without any cash on me. However, if you guys enjoyed this little adventure, this little fruit juice tour and some miscellaneous buys, Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next episode.